Hello everyone, my name is Oli, I work for Argent, and today I'm going to show you how to bridge assets to your Argent X StarkNet wallet from another network. In this tutorial, I'm going to use ZK Sync Era and MetaMask, but you can follow these steps if you're using a different network or a different wallet. They are more or less exactly the same. Argent X is the most popular wallet for StarkNet. We've got about 2 million users and you can download it on Chrome, Brave, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. I've already got ArgentX and Metamask downloaded, so the first step I'm going to do is unlock my ArgentX wallet. So I'm just going to enter my password and press unlock. So this is my ArgentX wallet. As you can see, I already have some Ethereum in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click add funds. And because we're bridging from another network, I'm going to click on Bridge Funds. And I'm going to use LayerSwap today. You can also use Orbiter Finance for this. So I click on LayerSwap and it takes me to layerswap.io slash app. What's cool is that my StarkNet address has automatically been filled out and StarkNet has been set as the, as the destination chain. So now I'm going to select my source, which it could be Binance or Arbitrum or Solana, but today I'm going to do ZK Sync Era. So I'm going to use USDC because I already have Ethereum in my wallet. But if you were sending it to a new Argent X account, you would want to send ETH first because you need ETH to pay for transaction fees when you're using Argent X. So I'm going to select the amount I want to send, which is 10 USDC. And you can see here that layer swap are taking about a $2.2 fee. So I click swap now. You can see that I'm sending 10 USDC from ZK Sync Era, and I'm gonna receive 7.8 USDC on StarkNet. So now I need to connect my wallet. I could use a number of different wallets here, including Argent, but for this tutorial, we're going to use MetaMask. So now I just need to unlock my MetaMask account. Press unlock. Okay, so I can see here that I've got 10 USDC in my MetaMask wallet that I can send. And now all I need to do is press send from wallet. That's gonna prompt me to sign a transaction. As you can see, the gas is pretty low because we're already using another layer two. And you see the total amount plus the fee is gonna be a little over $10, and I'm going to receive about 7.8 after fees. So I click confirm, and now my transfer is in process. You can see that the estimated arrival time is one minute, so it's gonna be pretty quick. You can see it's just processing it now. It'll let me know, there we go. Deposit is confirmed, so now it's just sending USDC. Okay, so I just waited about 30 seconds and now you can see that my transfer has completed. You can see that 7.8 USDC has been sent to my StarkNet address. So all I need to do now is go on to Argent X and I can see that my USDC is now in my wallet. Like I said, I've used ZK Sync Era in this video, but you could have used Arbitrum or Polygon or Solana or many different networks, and I use MetaMask, but you could use a different wallet such as Phantom or Argent. We're gonna stop this video here, but now that we have Ethereum and other assets in our wallet, we can start to think about using some of the features inside Argent X, such as the swap. But we'll save that for another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.